Hi, everybody. This is Arthur at Arthur Ease Your Mind here on YouTube. And I have my very, very first guest, the actual welcome lady, welcome wagon lady, Linda Grendel herself. Hi, Linda. Hi, everybody. Good to see everyone. Good to be on your show, my friend. Thank you. Linda, um, I always tease that the, the welcome lady hasn't showed up yet from Welcome Wagon. And people are saying, well, who, who is it? Who is it? And I'm saying, they'll find out. And it's Linda. So I really appreciate it. Oh, her. Stepping over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that. Oh, her. Well, no. So this is going to be a shorter show. It's not going to be long. Miss Grendel is fried. She just did a show with Mel <laughs> and she was kind enough to stop by and say, howdy to me. Well, this isn't our last show either. Okay. Yeah, we have more to come. Yeah. How's business though? Are you booking? Sorta. Sorta. You um, know, a, a very popular uh, YouTuber uh, told me that uh, notice the things are slowing down. I don't do book bookings, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't know, but it's slowing down a little bit. I, I think people are a little bit wiped out. I think people wiped out. Also, kids are going back to school. Yeah. They've got, they've got to watch their monies. They've got to watch what's going on around them. Exactly. And also with every time you turn on the news, you feel like, do I have to get a bunker? And they just had closed down um, North Carolina school no. for active gun shooter. It, it's just nuts. It's Until one of their children gets shot. Nothing's yeah. going to get done. Nothing is going to get done. So let me tell you, they're talking about just Trump wants Congress to just put, just start impeaching Biden without any proper authority. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they do that to Biden, and then that opens the door for the Democrats to do it to whoever. But, they, right. but the reason a lot of the Congress people are afraid is because he's done nothing illegal. But according to Trump, just go ahead and impeach him. That's all you need to do. Get rid of that loser, he says. Well, I mean, the man is a genius when it comes to rallying the truth. Hold on one second. Can you hear that? Yeah. Sorry, forgot to close the door. That's my gardener. Okay, go ahead. What? No, I said that he's a genius when it comes to rallying up the troops and with falseness. Like the whole thing he started with the bomb and, and his birth certificate. He was one behind all that. He so, finally admitted that he, he was American, but he took a long time to admit it. Yeah. And then Obama, who should have said, F you, I'm not giving you a tour of the White House, was gracious and, and stood with tradition. Mm -hmm. what you do as a president of the United States. And then Trump was acting all, oh, yes, he's wonderful. He does that, you know. And then it's come time for him to do the same thing. Mm. He ran out of the White House and locked the doors. I don't know. It's just, it's just nuts. Very nuts, the whole thing. But I don't see him getting there. I'm sorry. I did a show a while ago and I said, he may be nominated, but I don't see him crossing the finish line. Oh, he's not going to. I don't no. get not not as a winner, but I don't know if he can make it to the election. That's what I've been feeling. So has Andre. A lot of astrologers looking at his chart said there's some bad aspects for his health. We're not yeah. wishing that. I'm just saying. No, we're just stating our fact. We're not making. It could know. even not even be death. It could just be he's so down he incapacitated. So. In a wheelchair, sitting there looking at this, looking at the wall himself anyway did you see this short i put out which one now i only put what my what i only have one short don't but, get your feelings hurt that i don't necessarily be it, able to see everybody that's thing. all right it's called trump do you hear what i hear no i haven't seen it well just watch it you'll love it it's, it's okay. 37 seconds long so we're here to answer questions yep i got some and you got some yep how you want to do this well, I have a question here. What do you see for the outlook for Florida with this hurricane? I feel there's going to be some flooding. There's going to be some stuff going down. I don't see this as devastation. But what I'm feeling and what I hear from my guides is that there's a second one coming that's going to 
I I saw behind this one. A there's lot of trouble. Problem. And as I've said before, and the good thing about it all, if there's a good side, is it's going to show everybody what DeSantis is really about. Oh, I know. He's not going to care. He showed up with those three people that were killed, you know, three black people that were killed. Yeah. They had some sort of, uh, you know, open thing. And, oh, he got booed. Yeah. Well, after after changing the history of black black history in Florida, and then he goes to this place. I mean, crazy. What he's, a dummy. He's nuts. And uh, but I do unfortunately I also see something coming up in the Gulf. Something what? Uh, something coming up through the Gulf. Oh, okay. Um well that I, one's coming up and in fact it looks where like my ex in laws live in Bradenton, Florida. Mm -hmm. Right up there on the edge and then crossing into the Atlantic Ocean. And you know, the Atlantic Ocean is way warmer than the Pacific Ocean. Well, it's also the reason why they get all the hurricanes is because the water's warmer. Yeah. Like here in California, what we had, well, water off of Venice Beach is like 60 degrees. Yeah. So that's not going to be, but in Florida, it's 100. Bath water. Yeah, I went to Florida years ago. Uh, I met a friend in Georgia and we drove over to Florida briefly and I went in that ocean. I've never, it was like walking in a a hot tub. Mm -hmm. It was weird that the ocean was warm because I was raised in California. Well, I I mean, I was, we used to go to the Jersey coast as kids and you go in the ocean to cool off. Yeah. Yeah. You know, not to get warm. So I've got a question here. Hi, Arthur and Linda. Love you both. Thank you. My question is, and this is from Flora D. Do you think that Prigozhin made a secret pact with his fellow comrades that if anything happened to him, they would take out Putin? I do. Something happened like that. I even see that there's paperwork that's like even his family. You see, Putin's already hitting them up for money. He's going in there stealing his money. And I think the family is set because he had a feeling this might happen. So he put money somewhere just for the family. Mm -hmm. But this, this uh, what's the name of his group? Wagner Group. The Wagner Group is pissed because Putin's taking their money. So yeah, they're gonna they're gonna do what they can to get rid of him. They're not was... announcing it or screaming it. No, I, I saw it. them going in almost like that Trojan horse thing. Like, mm -hmm. oh, yes, you know, your royal highness, we love you. And then boom. Yeah. So, yeah, it's. That's what I'm getting. Okay. I get the same thing, basically. So Ursula wants to know, has been awfully quiet with Ivanka and Jerry. You, you feeling anything on them? Did they flip on Donnie? I don't know if they necessarily flipped, but I see when they got asked, they told the truth. Right. I feel like Jared saying to Trump, just saying, well, I had to tell them what I had to tell them. You know, it's too quiet. You're right. But I, I wonder if they figure out what what closed the pack and whatnot. Right. But I've, I've always felt that Avant, Ivana gets Ivanka gets off because she just flips and does I, I've always said she will throw anybody under the bus. And Jared, my guides have always told me that he's still going to pay for Khashoggi. Yeah. And I also see that Jack Smith knows who charged what country or what person paid the highest to get a pardon from Trump. I don't oh, know yeah. if he do anything with it i don't know if it's illegal but eventually that kind of thing will be illegal well you know this is jack smith is just the tip of the iceberg i mean there's a lot of stuff under this that he has but he's just going after the you know the one thing which is yeah. just about trump that's it then i feel then there's going to be like this cavalcade of stars underneath it just going crazy well we got the court date today march 4th Yes. And you know Trump is just livid. Yes. Trump is livid about this. Because then 20, <laughs> 21 days later, he's uh, the New York is on uh, the 25th of March. Yeah, that judge said, well, too bad. 
Yeah. It's going to have, but you know, I've got a, a campaign. Well, you're going to be treated like every other dumb one. Criminal. JH wants to know, will Meadows and the others be able to move their case to federal court? Will Judge Cannon be able to throw the case? What? One, it's two questions, actually. Will Meadows and the others be able to move their case to federal court? I saw court? no on that. And that's today. And I, 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 that's what I got. And then, will Judge Cannon be able to throw the case? No. Judge Cannon will go before she can throw anything. How I would answer that is you have to be there in order to throw the case. Yeah. She's not, she's not, she's going to, I get her another month and a half. Yeah. That's why Jack Smith is, keeps on filing what he's filing. She's going to mess stuff up. He'll go to the 11th Circuit Court and get her removed. I think it's something to do with that guy that decided to rat. The one that didn't want the Trump attorney and went to them and told them yes. the truth. Yeah. The and, IT guy. Uh, he no. let her know that this that things have changed because of, the, because of this. She's trying to figure out some way to not accept that. Mm -hmm. And the minute she has to do is walk over that line and he's got her. Yeah. I Like I said, I think he's baiting her. Laying trap. Yeah. So I love her. I love him. He just he just knows. He, he's got, he has a sixth sense on all this. Yeah. So um, do you see anything on the Ukraine, the updates on Ukraine? I think they're doing good myself. I think they're, be they're doing better than what is being broadcast and doing that on purpose. That's a very, that's a very wise idea. And I, because I, what I, whenever I look at it, they're they're moving forward. They're not ever moving. They're not retracting. They keep on moving forward and forward and forward. So, and as I said to you before, Within 18 months to two years, NATO will be part of uh, NATO. I mean, Ukraine will be part of NATO. Yeah. So that means things are done. So, but I feel that, they're, like I said, what I got, I was thinking about it last night, that there's a lot of stuff they're not putting out there. Like, there's stuff that plans and plans that nobody knows about. Right, exactly. Except the allies. Right. Um. Uh, this is a good question. Do you think they can get a fair jury for October trial of uh, the uh, what's her name? The Fine crack, it, the crack it and, and cheese. Oh, for Sydney, yes. And the cheeseburger. Yeah, I do. Okay. I feel she will be. Aged. She has to, you know, have a jury before she goes in there, and. She knew exactly when when Cheeseburger said to her, oh, I want a speedy trial. Okay, fine. I mean, she has, it's not like she just started doing this. She's been doing oh, this. she's been working on this for a while. But also doing Rigo cases, she's been doing it for a while. And so I really feel she really has plans on, you know, when to start jury selection and everything. Let me ask you something. What is Trump feeling about this? Is he upset? Does the Pope live in a Or was this a game plan? Did they do this? No, I don't think. No, I think he's actually. Well, when I first saw Cheeseburger doing what he did, I thought it was maybe because he won the speedy trial. They couldn't do it. So then he'd be dismissed. But when Sidney Powell joined, that's when I feel Trump really blew a stack. Okay. It was like everyone's turning on me. You know, I feel there'll be three. I actually feel there may be three more people added to that. Yeah, I found at least two. So it could be four or five, like you said. And, you know, Cheeseburger does not want to be sitting right next to Sidney Powell. <laughs> but he's the one that started that whole fake electors thing. Right. He's the author of that. But she's the one that carried out the plans. And then I love how... Um, um, what is the one? Is that Jack? No, it fan funny. She's got the Rasperger or whatever. He was the district attorney for the state of right. Georgia. The perfect phone and call. As Mark Meadows is going to try to come in and say, "Well, I was just doing. I was just following what I was." 
But then they're going to talk, Rasberger is going to talk about him on the phone with him. Well, basically, today is about Fonnie Willis talking to this to Judge Scott, I believe his name is, from the federal court, showing why Meadows should not, why this still has to be in state court. Yeah. However, what people don't realize is, even though it goes to the federal court, Fonnie Willis still is involved with all of it. And yeah. whatever they decide, if he gets convicted, it's a state charge, It's even though it's in federal court. It has, right, exactly. So no, like, um, mm -hmm. pardons for Mr. Trump or, you know, nobody, no governor or anything, because it's, right. it's state, not federal. Even though it's in federal, it's a state outcome. Does that make sense? Yeah, makes total sense. I didn't go to law school. I don't know these things. Ah. Um, <laughs> Jilly wants to know, when will DeJoy get out of my postal service? Oh, Jesus. I've been seeing him leaving for a while. You know what he's doing, don't you? He's going the opposite of what he was before. He's really being nice. He's making sure everybody gets bonuses. He's he's a horse of a different color. It's not the same DeJoy that's in there. Is that too loud? No, I hear fine. Okay, good. Is, can you hear me all right? Because I just got a new mic. So yeah. I'm sure. So the DOJ found email and text between Trump's Secret Service and the Proud Boys. What's going to happen with that? They're getting in trouble. That's what I feel. I think hands will roll. Yeah. It's, well, it's one thing. It's okay, your Secret Service, but remember those two Secret Service people that got canned because they were texting personal stuff between the two of them and they got rid of them now yeah. all of a sudden it's like this and they're with the proud boys you know it looked like they're coordinating what's what no it, it's wait was that secret service or was that fbi are you talking about that man and that woman that had yeah a... yeah i think was that, that was FBI? FBI. that wasn't secret i'm service. sorry but i'm just saying but that... you understand why biden said no i don't want the secret service you assigned me Right. Because and you know why Pence wouldn't get in the truck in the car. Yeah. Because they were trying to drive him off. Yeah. But not off to I'm the I'm gonna tell you something. And I say this till I'm blue in the face. Had Trump, let's say even they let Trump go into the Capitol with his minions and their guns, had an actual shooting or anybody or hair on the head of pence or nancy or anybody got hurt oh sorry i got my carrie lake lens going they would have that would have been the end of trump right because the military would have gone and taken them all out and they, he would be sitting in jail yeah no, that's well, as much as he wishes it would have worked it would have destroyed him i don't know what the heck there we go there we go no it was definite that if something bad and that one woman that was shot and they're trying to make her into a martyr first of all she shouldn't have been there well the other thing is they you know what are they famous for you just listen to orders that you know especially for black folks if you if you don't listen to orders well they can shoot you that's all there is to it but right, they gave her orders, and, orders she didn't and they said he said stop her i'll shoot and she came through anyway yeah. I I it's just nuts the whole thing. I just can't wait till after when Biden's reelected, you know, and Trump is away. Gone. A lot of people are upset about Biden's age, but I gotta tell you something right now. And I was telling Mel this morning, had we had someone like Robert Kennedy Jr., who was like his father, a good lad, a good person, we he would have gotten in oh, yeah. he, he probably would have beat biden not because we don't like biden but because of biden's age right but he's such a he's it's a shock how he ended up being but um the thing is what choice do you have you want a fascist country or you and look at trump trump's only a few years younger yeah so there was the press um the white house press um dinner they have every wow. year biden was hysterical oh yeah i saw that when he said uh they asked ron DeSantis, you know what was his mandate 
I'm straight. Oh my God. It was great. Well, I mean, even though he's as old as he is, it's still, he brings a lot to the table. Experience. Yeah. yeah. Which, and he knows history and he knows he's lived things where these people. He's been a politician all his life. Yeah. He's since done he, a lot for this country. Since he was 27. Yeah. And that man knows what loss is. Yeah. Uh, straight vodka in the morning is always good for you. It clears up your sinuses. I can't say who, but I worked for a celebrity once. And he called me at 3 o'clock in the morning and said, I need you to go get me some Slim Fast. But make sure it's the vodka. I mean, make sure it's the one with um, banana and strawberry because it mixes well with vodka. Ah, <laughs> that's like Shirley MacLaine in that movie about Carrie Fisher. Well, Meryl Streep. Edge. Postcards from the Edge. Postcards from the Edge. She's busy making this healthy shake and she's talking and complaining and then she takes a bottle of vodka and pours it in. Yeah. Yeah. A lot more of that goes on than people think. So you got a question? What are we talking about, Detroit? Um, oh, do, is it my turn? I don't know. Go for it. Hope Hicks, Hicks has hit my radar recently. This is Merida. Do you see anything upcoming involving her? I just get her losing all lack of credibility. Yeah. And I see her totally disgusted with Trump. Yeah. She wished she'd never gone back. Yeah. You know, he changed. She's already he was already a putz. Yeah. But he, he became worse when he became president. Did you see what Stormy Daniel said? <laughs> oh yeah. About I'm a virgin and if I he's can tell you that. pounds. When some when I first heard that, I, I said to my friend, 215 pounds. Which leg? I know. Um, he got to say what he, he on his driver's license. My driver's license says I weigh 110 pounds. So it's been like that since 1970 something. Well, so what are you going to do? You know, like I said to my members, if I got kidnapped, I was afraid because people would say, well, look like her, but that lady was too fat. <laughs> well, that's why we take new pictures every five years. <laughs> Or some people That's don't get it and they use the same picture all the time. Yeah. Um, Pat Lee writes, I'm so confused. A few months ago, most excellent psychics and readers saw Putin as being seriously ill and on the brink of passing. Yet he's, yet there he is. Ooh. Does he, Putin, does he have cancer oh, or not? He's is minutes. he alive or not? Alive. Thanks, guys. No. He is alive. I'm and gonna, he has a lot of body doubles that sit in for him. I'm going to go out on a limb. Okay. I know we don't give date predictions too much, but time-wise. But I've got three out of three so far. Um, I'm feeling March. March? That, cool. That Putin. I feel he gets... I want to say assassinated, but he gets shot. Wow. Well, I saw him running. When the Ukraine war happened, I was just telling my guides, why, dear God, why? I got so frightened because all of a sudden I saw all this death and destruction, children, everything. It was so horrible. I went outside on my phone and I told everybody, oh, you guys, I just got a hit. Putin is going to hit the Ukraine and blah, blah, blah. And I was just so upset. And then I heard my guides like they always do. They said, this is the beginning of the end for Putin. Yeah. And I think this this death of the Wagner Group leader is, is just top. To, because I didn't see him dying by the hand of Ukraine. I saw him dying by the hand of his own people. Yeah, that's what I see too. I, I, I don't think he realizes, even though Vong, the Prigozhin was a thug or whatever, he still cared about his men. He still cared about his people. Um, he would weep when his soldiers died. 
Oh, I know. Not he's a brutal. He was a brutal man, but he loved his men, and he would give the families money and yeah. buy them. So farm. that's why I feel. And it's also coincidental that there was somebody with a camera right around the time the uh, aircraft was going like, over. That's what they were saying. The the United States special people are saying it was. Uh, they think it imploded. They think something was a bomb yeah. was planted inside because they also found shrapnel in the bodies. So this was no accident. Oh, no, 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 no. As but, soon as you heard it, you said, I'll be honest. Initially, when I heard it, I thought, oh, they probably planned that. He's not really dead. And then I heard, no, he's dead. <laughs> but we all, but I think we all said the minute he walked away from Putin and Putin said, oh, it's okay. You can try and do a coup. Yeah. The first thing in my head is like dead no. man walking. Right. And also, um, that's why he got a lot of stuff done underneath the table yeah, to take care of his family and to let his men know. And also probably telling them how to do it. Don't go in there trailblazing, you know, after you march the streets. You got to go in there and act like you're on his side and present the Trojan horse and then get rid of him. Yeah. But it's going to be the Russian people that oust him. Yeah. So that's what I got. You got a question? Yeah. Um, will Jim Jordan get investigated with his big ass mouth? I love that somebody wrote me and, and they keep on calling it Jim Jordan, J Y M Jordan, Jim yeah. Jordan. Yeah. There's something coming up around him. I'm not getting specifics. Yeah. But they're all on borrowed time. Listen, because Jack didn't come out. There's about 30 unindicted. And mm -hmm. I'm got a strong feeling it's going to be Matt Gates, Jim Jordan, Marjorie Taylor Green. There's a whole colleague. Now the whole picks, did we ask the whole picks question? Mm. Or was I reading it? I forgot. No, we read that. I said oh, yeah. I felt that her she's just going to go to the wayside, really. Yeah, but I didn't feel her going to jail or anything. No, no, I don't feel that because she's one that can say I was doing my job. Yeah. Because what she was doing was her job. It wasn't, you know, you go do this and uh, take this pipe bomb and put it in front of the Republican Party and the Democrat Party. No. No. Did you feel MTG did the pipe bomb? Say it again. <clears throat> do you feel like MTG did the pipe bomb? No. Everybody swears she did it. <clears throat> well, I always felt the female did it. But I think they know who did it. But I'm sorry, she's not smart enough. I mean, walking on those cloven hooves really get you know. Did you see her running from her own people? Oh. Yeah, because they were complaining. It's like that T-shirt I used to wear that said "Jesus, protect me from your followers." <laughs> you got a question? Yeah. Uh, what will 2023-24 winter look like for USA Midwest? Some parts will be brutal. Illinois will hang in okay. I see Ohio going through some stuff. Minneapolis, Minnesota. This one, it, it's just going to be what I hear every day on the news of the likes we've never seen before. That's what I hear. Yeah, it's, I get like Kansas and areas like that. Northern yeah. Texas. And poor Kansas. They had how much? They had 113 degrees. Yeah. I have a dear friend lives there. She said it's been 109 for the last two weeks. Jesus. And so it's just nonstop. All right, next question. Oh, I don't, you were supposed to ask it. Oh, I just did about the uh, USA, the weather. Oh, sorry about that. Sorry. Right. It's, it's, I just got hit by my camera that someone's at the door. I just wanted to see. I think it's just the guy doing the lawn. Okay. <clears throat> we asked about the fair. I think I've pretty much gone through all my questions here. Okay. I don't know what B R I C S is. Oh, what do you see of B R I C the alliance with Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa? 
will it be successful? What is that? I don't know what it is. I don't I'm know sorry. what it is. So I'm not we'll even going to try to attempt it. Yeah. You got another question? Yeah, Jean Kavanaugh. Is the multimillionaires Nancy Walton involved in the corruption surrounding 45? <laughs> I heard something recently about this. It may be bogus. I didn't pick anything up on it. I really didn't. Okay. My, whatever. I, I, I don't. It doesn't do anything to me. I'm not hearing anything. No. I'll tell you the one who's in trouble is Jenny Thomas. Oh, God. I've been saying that for the last two years. Now, listen, let me ask you. You you don't give time frames. If you don't get it, don't tell me that. But any time frame you get on Justice Thomas exiting stage left? Yes. I mean, I originally thought it was going to be this October. But the more I think of it, I think it's next October. Okay. Because it's, everything is going to pile up so high and it's right before the election. And I can hear them saying, well, we can't put a new Supreme Court justice on because it's, yeah, right. You're right. What you did to Coney Barrett, you know, just got her in and Ruth, Ruth Ginsburg hadn't been buried yet. Come on. Yeah. So I do feel yes. I do feel yes on that. I feel October, uh, no later. It could be earlier than that, but no later of October 2024. Okay. Right before the election. Right. And that's going to drive everyone nuts and talk about hypocrites. Yep. Yep. Um, oh, let's see here. Some of these are personal stuff, so sorry. How do you like my... my um... <clears throat> My new well, waterfall with the birdies. I like it. Is that a cardinal almost? I think so, yeah. Red cardinal. You know, yeah. I love my hummingbird. Yeah. I love my birdies. Oh, I love them. Whenever a hummingbird comes by, I know it's my grandmother. Aww. I just know it's my grandmother. It's it's just, and and yellow butterflies are my other grandmother. <clears throat> That's so wonderful. It's, it's weird like that. And my sister, it could be the middle of winter. And she'll be upset about something and there'll be a blue jay. And that's my father, our father. Wow. Like she said, there was, it was, she was going through some stuff and it was, a, like she said, it was a horrible snowstorm, drifts, everything. And they're right on top of one of the snow drifts looking right at her was a blue jay. Isn't that something? Yeah. That's amazing. So they come to us in the various packages i made the mistake of putting bird food out for the little songbirds and stuff but then what happens is the crows come and try to indulge and my birds would disappear my uh hummingbirds because they don't like to be around crows no <coughs> here's one <Right. coughs> you drink water fine day to stop drinking alcohol deborah McCusel Powell, a Democrat and former Congresswoman from Florida, is running against Rick Scott for the Senate next year. Do you see her winning? And if so, will she overcome Republican <laughs> cheating and actually be sworn in the position? I feel she will. I do too. I feel she's going to win. And I tell you, this whole, you know, half those people in there now cheated. But I feel some sort of oversight or somebody's going to go in there and make sure these people can't do what they did before. Right. Teresa asks, um, what is the end game at to mar lago shell game? I'd also like to thank you for both for wonderful meditative and, oh, and my affirmation videos, as well as teaching me about putting things on a loop on YouTube. <laughs> anyway, so she's asking basically about the end game with Marlago. Yeah. Well, they said they'll never sell it, but I think it will be taken into possession by the federal government. You know, I don't think she would have sold it to him if she knew what was going on. She didn't want to sell it. He finagled, he cheated her out of that Post. place. Yeah. Read the story on that. It's very interesting. Yeah. He cheated her out of it. She cheated her out of everything. Yeah. Uh, 
How soon before Trump's fellow crooks turn state evidence in Georgia to save their hides? These trials are taking forever. I see people turning over left and right like yeah. fishes. I see fishes flapping. Well, with Cheeseburger and Sidney Powell wanting a speedy trial, I feel people are afraid that stuff's going to start coming out. And so they're going to be saying, um, is this the number from Miss Willis's office, please? <laughs> yeah, they're going to come out in droves and testify the truth. Yeah. But see, the reason a lot of them are mad because they were told to do this. It was okay. Told by the president of the United States that you could fake these electors. It was a lot of set people said they were duped, but they kind of knew they were doing yeah. wrong. So. They'll say whatever. It's like John Eastman is now saying, yeah, I still think that everything was stolen. Oh, Jesus, I know. Yeah, right. Well, what else can they say? They have to say that. I know. So. This is where oh, we're, we're also like, celebrating the anniversary of Martin Luther King's I saw that. Speech. Yeah. And uh, Emmett Till, 68 years ago today, he was murdered. I know. It's just so, so sad. Our heroes on the other side. But they're on the other side for a reason now. Yeah. They have more power there than they did here. Yeah. They sure do. Did you feel the Russians trying to land on the moon? I really felt there was some um, terrestrial interaction. Energy. Yes. Anything untoward that would involve nuclear, the terrestrials have permission to take it out. I also felt when Russia was going after one of the power plants in Ukraine, I just got this like bubble that he put around it. Yeah, let me tell you, there's so many sightings of uh, UFOs in Ukraine right now. They stop counting them it's just every day. All mm -hmm. kinds of sightings. They're watching everything like a hawk. Yeah. Yeah. And let's see here. What else? This is a weird one. What? Will the people who are held against their will be released from Scientology? I see that happening. I've seen the end of Scientology, but it's a, several years away. Right. If they have, they captured that guy who's in charge of it, right? Wasn't he running like a little, you know what? Because they had something on him for child uh, abuse. Anytime you... You know, it never surprises me anytime somebody of that ilk, you know, it's it's for the children or it's for this, it's for that. There's always something behind that. Yeah, They're and he's a little getting... pipsqueak and he's a big bully. Yeah. Just let him try to push me. I'd knock his zones out. And I think this will be the last one because we're running. Okay. Gun control. I know that that will happen, but it's when the new administration's in. Yeah, we may win enough this year to get control, and you know what? If people are listening to the to the to the voices of America, just like Ohio, a red state, voted against that them trying to pull that fast oh, yeah. one on abortion rights, you're going to see a lot of those uh, legislators being turned over because people are tired of people telling them what to do. It everything's great only if you love Trump. No, uh, uh. Next, I love these new progressives, the younger ones. They're just, they got it. They know what yeah. they're doing. There's like 18 million, 18 year olds coming up for the next election. So we got to get them on board. Well, I know you're tired. Oh, thank I know you, you really but I'm having a good time. You went out of your way to be here, and I can't thank you enough. Oh, I'm not that tired. Don't say that. I'm okay. I slept good last night. Oh, I thought that was the oxygen thing you were sucking down before we started. <laughs> Th that's not it, really. I mean, okay. all the other questions are basically repeats of other questions from the same people. Yeah, that's people the hard part. Questions. There's a lot of repeats, yeah. Yeah. Well, my friend, it was wonderful seeing you and talking to you. You too. We'll do this again. 
and we'll do and it's listen as stuff gets closer well you know i'm having my big surgery on september 28th so i might yeah. be out of commission a little bit but as switch call starts hitting the fans we will get together that's for sure i definitely you're on my list my calendar hell so yeah send out prayers okay and, thank you angel all right thank you bye everybody thanks for stopping by bye